everyone. Um, this lesson is actually going to be a review of what we have already covered this week. So if you remember, the first lesson, lesson one, was on how does natural selection lead to differences in populations over time. And in that lesson, um, we talked about natural selection. We said it was a mechanism for evolution, okay? Organisms are better able to survive in the environment and they'll reproduce because they've survived long enough that they are mature enough to reproduce. They can pass these good traits on and this leads to traits in the population changing over time. We said a species is a group of organisms that can breed and produce fertile offspring. They'll pass their traits on and offspring will have a variety of traits. We looked at a simulation to kind of show you how this worked, and we saw that random mutations lead to variations. Some variations are better than others, and organisms with better variations survive and reproduce in, their, in whatever specific environment they are in. The vari these variations get passed on to their offspring, and over time, these variations are more common in the population. So that was lesson one. The next lesson that we looked at, lesson two, we talked about how do principles of natural selection explain how adaptations have developed in extant species. So in this lesson, we actually went over the four main principles of natural selection. So the four main principles of natural selection were overproduction, genetic variation, selection, and adaptation. Overproduction just meant more offspring are produced than are expected to live. Genetic variation means there are differences in the species. Selection means there are environmental conditions that allow for some of the variations to be better suited for the environment than other variations. And then adaptation, an inherited trait that allows an organism or a population of organisms to better survive and reproduce in their environment. And then we also looked at the natural simulation, the natural selection simulation again. So that's kind of the review of the units that we, the lessons that we went over, the LEQs, how does natural selection lead to differences in population over time, and how do principles of natural selection explain how adaptations have developed in extant species. So please, if you have any questions, especially before you do the weekly knowledge check, if you have any questions on anything, um, please let me know. Um, you will be reviewing different things for the lesson. So you'll watch this video to kind of review information. There'll also be a natural selection Quizlet review, a brain pop review quiz that you can do, and then a little discussion on whether you understand natural selection. And that will wrap up lesson three. Um, if you have any questions, please stop by office hours, 1 to 2 p.m. every day. Thank you. Bye-bye.